Unfortunately, the Farm Bill that this new majority passed just last week will cost taxpayers $286 billion over the next five years with billions in subsidies, price guarantees, and direct payments going to large agribusinesses that already stand to benefit from increased market opportunities for renewable fuels. This energy bill only exacerbates the problems which will be made worse by the Farm Bill that was passed last week. It authorizes the creation, for example, of government-backed venture capital firms to invest in renewable and biofuels enterprises under a new program at the SBA, the Small Business Administration. Nothing prohibits the existing small business investment companies, which are backed by the federal government's full faith and credit, from investing in companies that are involved in biofuels and renewable energy already. To compound matters, the so -called, this so-called energy bill before us today even authorizes the SBA to fund the development of business plans for these venture capital programs. There is nothing to demonstrate that a market failure exists in the development and, const and construction of such facilities. As a result, I see no reason to provide further incentives through the creation of a totally new program at the Small Business Administration. We're just growing government. I would urge my colleagues to oppose this bill, and I reserve the balance of my time.